thought I'd start out with quoting uh, a vet. Several of them, actually. Major General Smutley Butler. And I spent most of my time being a high-class muscle man for big business, for Wall Street, for the bankers. In short, I was a racketeer for capitalism. I suspected I was just a part of this racket all the time. Now, I'm sure I am. 1881 to 1940, guy named Eisenhower. This is what he said on his way out in the 50s. Every gun that is made, every warship launched, every rocket fired signifies, in the final sense, a theft from those who hunger and are not fed, those who are cold and are not clothed. This war in arms is not spending money alone. It is spending the sweat of our labors, the genius of our scientists, and the hopes of our children. A World War II bad guy named Howard Sin. 1932, the summer of 20,000. World War I vets descended on, Mar on Washington. D.C. to demand promised back pay. And the government did this to this crowd. Four troops of cavalry, four companies of infantry, a machine gun squadron, and six tanks assembled near the White House. General Douglas MacArthur was in charge of the operation. Major Dwight Eisenhower, his aide, George Patton was one of the officers. McNamara led his troops down Pennsylvania Avenue, used tear gas to clear veterans out of old buildings, and set the buildings on fire. The army moved across the bridge to Anacostia. Thousands of veterans, wives, children began to run as the tear gas spread. The soldiers set fire on some of the huts and soon the whole encampment was ablaze. The truth is, this country never cared for its veterans. Another vet. World War II. Phil Berrigan. Yeah, both these guys. Howard Zinn, Phil Berrigan. World War II guys. Bombers. Phil Berrigan said to me, there's no place in this country that's not going to be connected to the U.S. military in one way or another. You just have to go home and find out where. 30 years later, <laughs> after protesting for decades at Offutt Air Force Base, I don't leave Des Moines anymore because now Des Moines and Iowa, we are the leaders of the militarization of America. we become federalized through our National Guard since the uh, Dingman years in 77 and now. In the wars of the Middle East, 10,000 Iowans have responded 19,000 times to go and leave this state and fight in the wars in the Middle East. We're dealing with a state that's cultivating Christian fascism. And in the midst of this, we have an active armed drone command that's mission is one page long. Anybody can read it. And all they do is target, kill, and assess the kill on anybody, anywhere, on the planet. That's their mission. And no one wants to talk about it in Des Moines. Other people are waking up. The Des Moines Catholic Worker, the Vets for Peace, the folks at Catholic Peace Minute jumping in with a national group called Known Drones. And we're starting a campaign to get president candidates to sign the pledge to stop drone warfare. Des Moines is not the only place that's got the problem. National group known, known drones have collected uh, uh, sites at 19 different states. 
26 different cities. Tens of thousands of people live under killer drones, are being systematically traumatized, and that their community life, the basis of their physical and emotional survival, is being destroyed. Day in, day out, 24-7. These unrelenting U.S. drone attacks are being conducted against people of color whose lives are already racked by war for the sole purpose of assisting corporations and grabbing resources, particularly oil and gas and minerals, in an extraction process that of course contributes to global warming. U.S. drone attacks violate United Nations Declaration of Human Rights and are illegal, immoral, and just plain outrageous. Work on an international ban, an international ban on the weaponization of drones. 